to Jax Does Homestuck. This is Jackie or Jax and we're still on Gay Stuck and today we're going to be talking about Dirk. Um, I feel like I've been hyping this episode up a lot especially you know whenever I was on like still doing the the main part of Gay Stuck and talking about Dirk. It was like oh yeah I'll talk about this more like whenever I get to to Dirk's episode and da 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 da. And I really don't feel I have a whole lot more to say outside of Dirk is gay and I love it. And he, even if he doesn't like like being called gay, he is a dude who likes dudes. And he's just allowed to be a dude who likes dudes on a strictly dude-only basis. And it's fantastic. And I love him so much. And I love the commentary of how in the future, which is probably because you know, uh, the Condis, uh, fucked over humanity, but in the future, like, there's no need for the label of, like, gay or anything like that. It's just, like, a thing. And I just, really, a lot of what I love about Dirk is beyond, like, just analyzing him from a, a gay standpoint, but I do love how, uh, overdramatic he can be with his, uh, courting <laughs> of Jake and I just I really love so much about Dirk yeah I think it's really interesting how he feels because he he feels so much he thinks about feeling so much which is why I I really relate to him as a heart player and he's kind of what helped me like really cement the idea I'm definitely a heart player but um like you know, he feels so bad about Roxy and not being able to give her the life or the relationship he feels she deserves, but he has to stay true to himself, like, first and foremost, and that self is someone who's only into dudes. And I just, he cares so much about that. And I'm not saying, it like, it's right that he should feel bad about not being able to give that, but he cares a lot. He cares too much. He's kind of over obsessing about how much he cares because it's probably not healthy for him to feel that badly about not being able to, to give Roxy that or really feel that way at all. And it's fantastic. And I really wish, um, I had that conversation that we got to read that conversation between Dirk and Dave, whenever Dave basically asks how to come out to his friends. And, man, I wrote, like, my own little, like, super tiny minific on it, which now that I read back on it, I'm like, oh, wait, I kind of got this wrong because it really does seem like, like Jane had no idea that Dirk was gay until the very last second. Um, but besides that, I just, I had to explore my own little thing of that. And yeah, I just really wish I could have seen how that conversation went. And, you know, how did Dirk tell his friends? Did it just come up? Did it just, was it just a thing? Um, because he's just so solidly sure of himself. And we need more of the human characters to be like that. I mean, Rose is kind of close, but she never really discusses it or anything. It's just seems like something she falls into. I mean, if you listen to my Rose episode, you know that's not quite how I feel on this subject. But there's no really talk about Rose or Rose's sexuality, which is good in its own right. But I really, really like Dirk and the portrayal of him as a dude who likes dudes. And I really hope that he and Dave are able to have like a great relationship and hash things out. And I really hope that conversation went really well for both of them. But anyway, like I said, I've been hyping up talking about Dirk so much, but really I don't have a lot else to say. Um, this, I believe, unless something changes by the time this posts, is going to be my last episode of Gay Stuck. And we'll be moving. We'll be moving on to my next project, 
which I don't think is going to be as long as Gay Stuck. But I guess I'll talk about it a bit here since this is my last episode of Gay Stuck, so you guys should probably know what's going on. I might have announced this on Twitter or Discord or something by now. If you're not following me on Twitter or if you're not on the channel's Discord, please go check that out. My uh, Twitter is S.A. Dragon Tweets. My website is jackstashomestuck.com. You can find links to my Discord on both of those platforms. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing next, I got the idea from someone on Twitter, and I'm so sorry, I cannot remember who it was. Um, It's just been kind of bouncing around in the back of my head ever since I saw it, but reading Homestuck through the lens of the Bechdel test. So that's what I'm doing, or probably by the time this episode comes out, have already done. And I'm compiling all the data, and I just, there's, it's not as, it's not as easy to make a bunch of episodes of as it was for Gay Stuck, because this isn't so much about the content between two female characters, which I should say, if you don't know what the Bechtel, if you don't know what the Bechtel test is, it's um, a test someone by the name of Bechtel, I always forget her actual name, uh, made up or her friend made it up and she wrote about it in a comic. Anyway, it's a a test that a movie goes through or another piece of uh, media where uh, you see how many times two female characters talk about something other than a man. It's meant to be easy to pass and meant to show how few fail it. It's not supposed to be the end-all be-all of feminist critique or the end-all be-all of what a movie needs to do in order to be considered good. It's just an interesting way to view things and see how little media tends to pass it. So anyway, so I'm already working on that. Um, Again, probably by the time this episode comes out, I'll already be done. And you should be getting um, the next episode on uh, Wednesday. So definitely look forward to that. And um, I'm, uh, again, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be divvying it up. But, you know, I have a spreadsheet. I have all my clips. Like, I got it all. I, I have a bunch of different ways that I'm, I'm thinking about analyzing it. So. so anyway, look forward to that. And again, I'm sorry. Me talking at the end here is literally as long or longer than the actual content of talking about Dirk. But I just want to make sure that you guys know what's coming up next. Please like, subscribe, share, and thank you so much for listening or watching if I have this uploaded on YouTube. And um, I will see you guys Wednesday.